welcome to growing your own food in your own backyard and if you are new to my channel please consider subscribing and don't forget to hit the like button I want to introduce you to my mint plants that are six years old and actually do not spread outside its barriers now keep in mind the mint family can be invasive and quickly take over the garden therefore it's important to keep the mint contained to keep the mint contained I planted these mint in bo bottomless containers so can you see that in bottomless containers and look at this one over here I also planted this in a bottomless container and these are large containers measuring 8 to 24 inches in diameter and with a similar depth and I sunk them very very deep into the ground see you can see that they're sunk very very deep into the ground and by sinking them into the ground I kept the containers top rim at least an inch to two inch above the soil can you see that this prevents the mint plant from spilling out into the rest of the garden. So now I try to harvest my mints regularly, but this time it's, it's a little overdue. Like this one here, it's a little overdue. As you can see, this one's way overdue, but this one got harvested earlier in the season. But look how compact it is. And again, six years old, and it has not grown outside of its barrier because it sunk so deep, and then the bottomless, um, the, the bottomless container allows the roots to go grow deeper, and so they're not spreading. So I'm gonna go ahead and harvest my mint. And so now, often you get these little flowers on here. That means that the mint's trying to go to seed. And this is where I would just go ahead and just cut them off like this because I don't want them to go to seed. I like to get a couple of more harvests out of this. And then this to keep them from going to seed. In this particular one, I did do that. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna go ahead and just start harvesting the mint. This only got harvested once this season. And I'm gonna I'm do a, a very heavy pruning. This will allow me to get probably another see another one more harvest out of it before the season ends. The harvest this mints the last crop to uh, go dormant, so it's pretty hardy. And see, as you can see, my colander is almost full only because I'm late harvesting. And then I want to make sure I get, see this one here, this one is trying to grow. So you don't want that to grow on here and attach. So you want to make sure that I'm getting those side shoots because I'm late harvesting. And here's another size shoot here. So I want to just cut those off. Six years old, both these mint plants are, and I do not get any spreading whatsoever. So, again, the harvesting is overdue, so I got a colander full of mint, and so one would ask, well, what are you going to do with all that mint? Well, I like making hot, hot and cold teas. I spice up my salad. I add to juices. It's growing in my vegetable bed, so it's utilizing the insect repellent because right now I can just smell the entire mint. It's just the aroma is just um, permeating the air with mint. So it does act as a insect repellent. And again, it's highly aromatic uh, foliage and it, it, it repels ants, white cabbage, moths, 
and other pests. So um, I just wanted to give you a few tips on how you can enjoy your mint plants without it taking over your garden. And you see how nicely this is growing without it being invasive. So, but I do want to make sure I want to keep it cut down because I don't want the mint to start growing on the ground on the side with you know you, uh, the side shoots and then start attaching itself to the ground but as you can see my mint are six years old i get beautiful harvests during the summer you do have to keep up with the harvest because they're very robust they grow fast and if you love mints and you have a lot of uses for mints it, it is a beautiful uh, addition to the to your um, your garden and your raised bed. When I said that it repelled white butterflies, those are the cabbage butterflies. You can see my Georgia G uh, greens are overdue for harvesting. This would be my fourth harvest and I would take you along to harvest those. And I see white butterflies attempting to fly around my Georgia greens. Sometimes I'll come and just fluff up the mints to give that aroma around my um, the rest of my crops to keep to repel those um, pesty insects that are not conducive or not beneficial to our garden. So I wanted to share that tip with you since I had to come out today and harvest and just let you know if you have mints, dig them up. Um, try to make sure you preserve the root ball dig a big hole about a foot down get those nice big black containers that you can buy at uh, Home Depot or Lowe's cut the bottom out set the container very deep into the soil have about an inch or an inch and a half of the rim above the uh, uh, the, the top of the ground and then go ahead and plant it and you can have mints forever that do not invade your uh, rest of your garden stays compact and will give you a beautiful crop for the subsequent years I hope you enjoyed this video I hope you were able to get some great tips out of this video thank you for watching and don't forget to hit the like button